Ooh, oh. two of them. <laughs> I was on the sideline, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who hit trash like that? So everybody's like, oh, yeah. And we're like, <laughs> where's our helmets? Left hand up. Really? Boys, that's my, that's my right nipple. I was about to say, Trust. this is not me. And that is a <laughs> true story. Hey, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Hang time, episode six. True, true pleasure to bring you our guest, Derek Forrest. Defoe, what's up, man? Not much, man, you know. We're doing good, man, especially after this week, man. It was a that, big game. That was, was game. fun, man. That was fun. Thank you for coming. Uh, dude, I like you a lot. We've had a lot of good times on the punt team. I appreciate you uh, rocking the uh, punt team hat for this year. Yeah. You know, people, people, I know what you're about. You know, about. They, they, they want these, man. I you know, know these exclusive right And here. I tell everybody, everybody wants one in practice. We get a lot of practice reps. You know, you're working with the backups. But I always tell everybody, I say, you got to get on the freaking field and you got to have some sweat equity out there. Live. It's just it's something about it, man. Live. Practice, everybody's working their tail off in practice. But when you step on that game field, that's so a – Telling you, I caught the business eight. end of it this we gotta week. We got to protect Tress at all costs. You know, Thank you. All costs. Thank you. I, uh, I every once in a while, I like to show that I can take a hit. I don't mm -hmm. like to take hits, but you know, I got to show that uh, I could take a hit. And dude, how we start the show is mm -hmm. with a couple of highlights. Right. One of our first highlights is me taking that shot. Man. Now, are we just watching it? Do we have audio? We oh, it's on. See, it's full see, sound. See, dude, hold on. So time out. Time out, real quick. <laughs> Did you know I was mic'd up? No, the game. I was mic'd I did up. Not know. You're good. You didn't say anything bad. Like it, you, right, were, you were doing your thing. <laughs> but the last time I was mic'd up mm -hmm. was last year against New Orleans. Okay, Casey Tuhill still apologizes to this day. Let the three go, and I got oh, man. at the time the hardest I had been hit in my career. Defo, we one upped it this week. Something about me getting mic'd up and they just freaking know and they bring the house and oh dude, just check no, this out. I'm not gonna lie, they killed you, man. When I when, I was on the sideline, I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, who hit trash like that? Like, oh yeah. Check this out. I'm sure I haven't even seen this one. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh. Two of them. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Dang. I think my <laughs> nah, man. Help me out, Chuck. Charles Little's Are got my back. Yeah, oh my gosh. Dude, I Thank you, man. All right, so how 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 did you feel? How did you feel when you seen those two guys closing in on you? So you here's the to, deal, you man. Had to, you had to finish through. Yeah, so I know this. So like you're back there, like in the secondary, and and you see it all. Mm -hmm. Like I know you're like center field, left field, right field, like you see it all. When I tell you that I am so locked in, like when coach always talks about my drop, things like mm -hmm. that, it's very important for a punter. Yeah. Dude, that is all I'm locked in on. And about the time my foot leaves, I look up That's and I was realize. like, this is it. Like, <laughs> boom. <laughs> and dude, I, I mean, Jeez. oh yeah. So this, this guy right the top, here. The top 30, guy looked like he was trying to take you out, definitely. Oh yeah. So 32. Mm -hmm. Watch his face mask. Ooh. I still... I still have face mask marks right here. Oh, and I woke up this morning and I looked at my wife and I go, I feel like I got hit by a bus. Defo, that was one hit, bro. Uh, on, only one. You're hitting people all night. I don't know how oh, you no, move. For sure. No, I get up I'm every looking morning. at you right now and I can feel it in my neck right here, dude. I don't know how y'all do when it. you got hit? Yes. No, I am I'm not going to lie. It's, it's the traps. Like, the traps are the worst part. Like, you'll hit somebody. The next day you'll wake up, your trap be like stiff with like a rock in it. Oh my so gosh. That's the worst part, man. Man, I'm sitting there like, I'm Jeez. serious. I'm looking at the they cameras, I'm looking at you, and it's just like, they got ah, you. Ah, ah, ah. that was a pretty good shot though, man. But yeah, so something Definitely. about me getting mic'd up and bam, I'm just getting freaking popped. They got popped. your shoulder pad out and everything, man. I they am like they was holding you and everything. I know, man. I'm telling you. I know Charles Leno's got my back. That. Chuck's got my back. But I uh, I think that That's I think wrong. that it's also good that I'm mic'd up, you know, because mm -hmm. like I feel like the older I get, the more I'm going to lie to my kids and grandkids like about how good I was, mm -hmm. even positions I played. I'd be like, yeah, I played quarterback in this game too, but I punted <laughs> sometimes. Just like making stuff up, but I'll have the sound bite. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, dang. Dad's pretty tough, man. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. He cool, man. You never know. He got up. I got to get know? my street credit. I had all my buddies text me mm -hmm. the, the uh, 
you know, you know, yeah, the I game. Know, I know. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, They're yeah. like, man, that had to send the cred up a little bit. I was <laughs> Definitely. like, I think it did. You know, these, I think these it did. things, you know, we might have to start selling these things on eBay, you I know. know. And, and I'm, I was, dude, I'm torn by that. Like, I was talking with Nat. I was talking with, like, a lot of the fans have been reaching out. And I so bad want to grow that brand mm -hmm. of the punt team. But, man, I secretly love that it's. It's exclusive. You gotta get. You gotta get a play in. Like one. You got. You gotta it, it get a play in more, on though. the field. It made people wanting more. They like, man, we got. We got to right. get one of these hats. But then you like, can't get one of these hats. Yes, you gotta be on punt. See, a lot of guys, you know, you they won't it. get on punt. All right. As long as you got my back, then I'm down. Man. No, for sure, it's physical in there. You can see. <laughs> Tres, it's physical in there. You I know, can see. I know, man. Man, I caught the business end of it on that one. All right, now a much more. Oh. I mean, the other one was fun too, mm. buddy. This yeah, INT love, that you had. Right here. I mean, the at this point in the game, man. like you see Jalen air it out. AJ Brown crazy. is deep. I mean, please walk me through the play. Man, Every, so. everything as much as you can, dude. This is the stuff I nerd out on. I love hearing like mm. from you guys on the field. Yeah. So I kind of was, um, I definitely had a chip on my shoulder after that. The, the drive before, man, they scored, and I was, yeah. you know, I was right yeah. there, you know. So it was like, man. So when the play started, I seen uh, there was a guy in front of me. There was uh, the number two to my side. He was crossing, you know, he was doing a okay. dig. But son told me, like, he's not throwing his dig. So yeah. I started getting my depth. And, uh, you know, throughout the week, coach has been telling me, like, hey, he's going to throw these 50-50 shots in the middle of the field, and you better make a play. And the only thing I'm thinking in my head is I'm making this play. Make the play. Like, forget what y'all talking about. Oh, I'm making I love this play. that, dude. So when he threw that ball, only thing I could think in my head is I told coach I'm making this play. So somehow, some way, I got to get it done. That goes when through I, your when head I went when the up, ball's in the air? Literally, everything. It's everything, it's so it's so It's like everything on the field is happening fast, but in my head, it's happening so slow. Like yes. I'm like, all right. So when I when I get there and I get to I get to the receiver, I'm like, where's the ball? So I go up and I put my hands up and I'm looking and I'm like, the ball's not in my hands. So then I look down and that's when he touched it and it, it landed in my arm and I'm like, all right, let's secure the ball. I got it. So I'm like, I got it. So then when I hit the ground, I knew juice, I knew juice was on me, but yes. I didn't think I was gonna be down by contact. So I'm like, let's yeah. go. I, I get know up what and was I it? The was running. it the legs y'all got yeah. tangled up? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Because otherwise, we thought. I mean, Cheese and that's, I were watching on the field. Too. I'm like, I'm thinking Juice landed on me, so yes. I'm like, let's go. I get up. You know, everybody, everybody in front of me. I'm like, I'm looking for a room. Yes. But by the time I had cut back cross field, that monkey jumped on my back. Yo, and yeah. I, I was tired. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, it jumped on my back. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm trying to take this to the curry though. But man, I'm telling you, that was an exciting play, especially being in the second quarter. You know, we 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 got the momentum. Man, man going into halftime. Man, sheesh, dude, dog, that was. I'm telling you. And then was, when I was returning it, only thing I could think of is my head. I'll be thinking I'm a running back when I'll be returning it. Yep. You know, I don't know. I always got them running back dreams when I was I was in little league. I played running back for one year. I only played for one year you Loved know it? I had like had like eight touchdowns you yeah, know there it smooth, is. but i never was elite so when i get the ball I always turn into a running back <laughs> dude so on a, on a on a big turnover and anytime especially mm -hmm. the fast dudes like yeah. when y'all are returning fumbles uh interceptions so everybody's all excited everybody's mm -hmm. all celebrating me cheese and joey are just scrambling in case it's a pick six mm -hmm. we have to go out and do a pat oh yeah so everybody's like oh yeah and we're like <laughs> where's our helmets especially the cold games you got your helmets by the heater like yep. doing everything but dude oh, i just man. i remember so whenever i'm on the sideline mm -hmm. i get to watch i get to like watch it all from the sideline and i see jalen air it out and mm -hmm. i quickly look back and i see that it's aj brown yeah. and i'm like all right this ought mm -hmm. to be good mm -hmm. and i just see 22 out of nowhere oh, and just, i'm what? telling you that that play was crazy that was I'm so it was oh, exciting that was so cool man. man i don't know i don't know i feel like the, the fumble was more exciting man i'm telling you it was because when, uh, when juice got the ball out and i'm i'm seeing k fool and yeah and, um um uh smith running to the ball and yeah. i'm like they're about to hit this ball and it's the, gonna come the, right back to i'm me. with you on the i'm fumble. telling you like everything in my head be processing so slow yes like, on the field is happening so fast yeah the f the fumble was like just two emotions. Mm -hmm. So it was like, they just complete oh. this big bomb. Bam, we turn it over. Dude, that one, that one to me though, I feel like that one was almost like this. Our defense has been rolling. Mm -hmm. And I feel like at that point in the game, like, and I feel, yeah, I feel like it was, it was just this punch in the mouth. Mm -hmm. It was just like, all right, well, y'all better freaking roll because we're here to roll. Like, yes. I'm telling you, man, the crazy part about it, I almost passed out when that play, dog. I get to the sideline and you know how everybody's excited. <laughs> you know, they like, oh, let's go. Yes. I get to the sideline. I ran into Heineke. <laughs> Dude, everybody run around me. They like, let's go, default. They get smacking me in my head. I'm like, take stop, the helmet off. Stop. Yep. I'm like, back up. Yep. Back up. I can't breathe, yes. dog. Back up. Yes. Number like, stop. number one rule, at least for me. I don't like <laughs> don't, you hitting the head. Don't do it. Please. Number number one rule when you do something great 
in an NFL game. Wrong. Right as you get right as you get to the sideline, you either sadly got to run away from everybody or you take that helmet right off because they just start smacking the freaking helmet. But if you Suffer take your helmet up. off, you get the shoulder pad. Ooh, that was my shoulder right there. That's the one that hurts. I got hyped up. See? But like, that's see, I know. See, I'm still hitting myself. But got to take the helmet off. Otherwise, you just get smacked in the head. Uh, then you get some of the coaches with their wedding rings. Man. Bang, like, I'm God. telling you, man, it's abuse. Like, that's really abuse right it there. It gets you, dude. They, they got to yeah. start that. They get you. Like, for real. All right, man. Here on Hang Time. Uh, one of the fan favorite segments, okay. one of the fan favorite players. Us, uh, it is time for our Grubhub delivery of the week brought to us by Cheese. Yes, Cheese, sir. bring us in, man. Come on in, cheese. Yeah, cheese, man. Good, as man. as the intro, boy, as the Defo and I are watching the <laughs> intro, and cheese come in, you just hear cheese under his breath. Oh, that's pretty badass. Yeah. Humility, definitely yeah. was. Man. Humility, man. Cheese, welcome, welcome. Thanks I meant to ask you me, last time the uh, the shades that you put on the helmet. Yeah, are those magnetic? They are indeed. How about I don't that? Know how? Little but, breakaways. Uh, they're really nice. Okay. Well, dude, it's good Sweet to have man. you back, buddy. You know, he got that Columbus swag, man. 614. That's right. 614. 614. So, <laughs> for the Grubhub delivery of the week, I present to you our very own Joey Sly. Yes, sir. Huge, huge night. Monster game. Man. Four for four. Killy. On the road. Hostile environment. Wow. Dude. Had a, uh, had a good story about Joey before we watched some of the incredible bombs he was ripping. Downstairs, I went down to scout the opposing punter for the Texans, Cam Johnson. Nice dude. Well, when I'm down there, Mike Adams from the video crew is down there. Well, we have a in-house fantasy league. We don't play for any money. We play for some cold brews. And Mike did not have a kicker going into this week. Just bye week. Fantasy stuff. You play fantasy default? No, I okay. actually don't. You See, know? so you have guys, to have a kicker. A lot, a lot of guys complain when I'm not doing good in that though. So you know, I really don't pay too much attention to it. Okay, yeah. Then tell them to kick rocks, man. No big deal. <laughs> so, anyways, Mike tells me he's like, "Hey, I don't have a kicker this week," and he tells or Joey saw that on the fantasy league. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Dude, you should pick me up." And Mike's like, "Yeah, you know what? I should pick you up." I'm sure things happen. Monday night football, big game. I don't know what's going on. Mike doesn't pick him up. Okay. Now, in the fantasy world, Defo, listen to this. This is how monster of a game Joey Sly has. Not only for us and wow. our team on the road, on Monday Night Football, against the freaking Philadelphia Eagles. If you kick a 50-yarder, that's worth five points. 40-yarder, four points. 30-yarder, three, 22. No, 20 still three. And then PATs are one. Two 50s, a 40, a 30, and two PATs. 19 total points in fantasy. Jeez. Okay, Big Mike lost by 17. If he had just got Joey and picked him up, he'd have won freaking fantasy. In. And oh, Joey would have just been wins a in. wins. How often you watch Joey, field goals, Defo? Yes. How often you watch field goals, man? I know you watch, got a lot going I, on. I, I watch every single field goal, especially when Joey kicking. Oh, man. Come on yeah, now. Appreciate especially that 50-yarder. That, that right oh, my gosh. 50, dude, 58. Oh, 58 yards I mean, before halftime. Talk about yes. momentum. Look at that. Oh, look at that slow-mo. Sure. Oh, yeah. Boom. Da, 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 Comes da, da, down. Joey locked in all shout the cues. Look at that. Here. I didn't even get the laces all the way yep. around. Shout That's how you know Lay. the kick's good. Great holder. Oh, man. Thank you, Cheese. Try to Thank get you. around for us. I mean, I fly, I, that's I a pretty good like slow-mo. 30 times better in slow motion. I know, right? Just seeing mm. the ball rotate. And look at that. All the Eagles fans yeah, just pissed off. Definitely Joey snap, man. Maybe man. the only thing better than the field goal in that slow mo is watching the Eagles fans just, just slowly, oh my and gosh, slowly get more and more disappointed. Yeah. Quiet, you know, it was real silent in there for a while. You guys, this is year two for both of y'all. That's right. What do you think of winning at Philly, <sighs> bro? It's nothing like it. Just nothing beats uh, it, man. Nothing know. Know. It's, it's, it's something the about a hostile ball. environment. Oh it, man, uh, something about a hostile environment. You know, deep down the inside, it gives me flame. Oh. Up. Dude, I mean, those fans, fans just, just all yapping just, all it. game. I don't know why. And then I love just, it. 
Silence at the man. end. Oh, so, I love it's so it, dude. satisfying when they when they when they get quiet. Yep. You just look at them like. <laughs> How much mm -hmm. better did that Philly yeah. cheesesteak taste mm -hmm. after oh, whooping so them too? Oh, come on yeah. now. Oh man, so the good. chicken one. Yeah, you got, got the, the chicken. chicken come on, I got the chicken I'm trying to watch your finger. Because I had ordered, I had ordered a cheesesteak before the game. You know, I had got, <laughs> I got the regular cheesesteak, dog. So after the game, I'm like, I'll grab a chicken. One. Okay, never mind. That's You're good, man. As long That's as you fair. got I one, I want double yeah. up. What do you guys think on the cheese whiz there, though? It was a little thick. I know. I can't decide. I think I mean, I've had it like with melted extra. provolone before, and I kind of dug yeah. the provolone, mm -hmm. but I know cheese whiz is kind of thing, but it kind of yeah. got me. I don't know. Kind of yeah. gave me a rumble in the jungle. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was hurting that next day. Man. I was hurt. Uh, you, you ain't lying. Yeah. You're not lying. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Had, had you down there for a while, man. <laughs> Be, uh, before we move on to you posted that, um, sorry, we got sidetracked with beating Philly, but mostly because, not mostly, mm -hmm. hu but a huge part with Joey's unbelievable performance. NFC Special Teams Player of the Week. We are just That's starting. So to, we are just gonna just start owning everything, man. Let's just yeah, let's sure. just take just the the run, man. Right. The run just happens, the and commander. here we go. Let's nope. just hey, hail left hand up, commanders. left hand up. I got more words to that song. I've only heard like the chorus, but who are we? Well, we brought cheese on for a reason. That's right. Um, we do a segment here, Defo, called "You Posted That," presented by Zoomf. Yes, sir. Now, my friend, we don't know what's about to pop up. It'll be a couple uh, pictures. It's gonna be rough. I got. I can already it know. It usually is rough. It's gonna be. Sometimes rough. there's a good one, but buddy, usually it's rough. <laughs> oh man, definitely Defo. got that from my dad. Oh yeah. What was Facebook. this last week? Um, not exactly, man. <laughs> you know, I I had that same face since I was like <laughs> freaking five. A it's a that's no, is that a Hollister shirt? shirt? Yeah, Hollister. And are that's, you that's biting your bottom lip? Definitely. <laughs> Do you remember the honey that you texted this to? Because surely you sent no, this to somebody. No, I don't even know. I, I took this on my dad's phone. You know, I didn't publish this. He did. Are you, you know, 16? He just posted it straight. Are you 16? Definitely got to be 13. So the reason 14. I ask is you have you you are 13. wearing a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's So somebody 13. is in the car mm -hmm. watching you take this shot. Pops. <laughs> I took, like, my pops used to have, like, he had an iPhone, and I didn't have an iPhone back then, so I always used his phone, you know, yep. to do everything. Yep. So I, when he'd get out the car, I take I'll take his phone, take funny pictures like this, yep. or I'll like put my I'll put my feet on his dashboard, take pictures of my shoes. He hated it. So what's your pop's first name? Derek. Derek. Yeah, I'm oh, a junior. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's a junior. right. You're yeah, junior. Yeah, I'm a junior. I'm a junior. So I definitely gotta get that on my jersey though, junior. Derek Senior, um, he's watching his son. Put his feet up on the dashboard. I don't know if you're a country music guy, but that's like a big thing for the females, man. You know, you no. like pick them up and they throw their feet up on the dashboard. So you got your feet up on the dashboard, taking pictures of your shoes, and you're biting the lip. Yo, dog. I think he either thinks you have no game or all the game, man. Man, oh, dude. you he got all the game. Think don't I had you? no game back then. I don't know, man. Look at that. Look at that. He's got. Look I, at. I feel it. like that's some game. Oh my gosh! Wait, what? Boys, that's Wait. mine. That's my right nipple. I was about to say, Trust. This is not me. and that is my <laughs> armpit. Now, this is a tr this is a true this is a true story. Okay, a true story. Hey, my yo, wife, oh, my oh, wife oh, and I, when we're in college, okay, this is the craziest thing. <laughs> so we fall asleep, snuggled up. She gets up, going to like her workouts or something like that, and I wake up and like my armpit hurts, like it's like tugging. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what in the, what in the hell is and I reach in. Now, I don't know if you guys do this, but if there's like something like you get something on your leg, like uh, you like look at it, yeah. the first thing I do is like smell it. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, <laughs> definitely. So, like, what is this? What, what so, what in my, is it? so in what my armpit, it? so in my armpit, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I like feel something squishy. And I just <laughs> it was gum. She fell asleep <laughs> with gum in her mouth and just bleh. Like spit it into my armpit somehow, a, and it got tangled up. I had to cut it out. I had to cut it. I I had to cut that out, bro. No. And it just I texted it to her and I sent it to her. See, like you got game. You got the seatbelt on, mm -hmm. shoes on the dash. You're taking pictures. You biting your lip. I'm just taking pictures of hairy pieces of gum. Sending, them to, sending them to the girlfriend. Like, hey, babe, was this Yo, you? Like, how trust. crazy is that, man? <laughs> That's a true story. Did you trim the other one to match it? No man, definitely <laughs> Ain't not. Ain't nobody looking walk, at my armpits. Walk I'm not around walking one, around like one this. Armpit, yeah. Ball, one, one, yeah. One but yeah, so there you go, man. See, you never That's know what's crazy. gonna pop up on you posted that. I don't the know gun. why you posted that. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was different. Oh yes, we're not even in focus. Now, you <laughs> yep. That's the that iPhone right there. That's my dad's phone right there. That's it. That's that's Pop's phone. Your phone man. I, I, I use Pop's phone Pop's for everything, phone. man. Yep, it was it. I'll be like, let me see your phone. Yep, and he'll know he's not getting it back for hours, dog. What is Pick Arts? 
Uh, Pic Arts was like the app that we used to use to edit back then. You know, it was. So did free. you make it blurry on purpose? No. <laughs> I feel like because I feel like years, that'd be some years game. Of recycling. That's oh, okay. Is like years of I feel like that'd be some game. I'm, like bro, make the you, my pops will literally repost these pictures. <laughs> yeah, like he'll like on my birthday this year he'll probably <laughs> post this picture. Yeah. So every time he recycles the picture, it gets yeah. worse. I might post it for you. No, 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 no. Don't, <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. that. Don't don't no way, man. Dog. Look at look at the smile. Like I don't even know what I know that doesn't look like you trust your smile, man. What is that? It's like oh no. It's like it somebody like just a, told a bad joke at your expense, and you're like, uh, like smiling man, that through that, the pain. That was that. That was that. Like you're a jerk, new boys era. You know, yeah. everybody was like, you know, you know, everybody was like light skin back then. I yeah. guess, man. I, that's how I, I mean, see it. I just, I feel like that smile. It's just like a little bit like. It's like <laughs> I don't know. See, y'all, don't, y'all don't even have the best of them, man. I have. I literally have a meme. Oh, now we're getting our flex. Oh, here we that, go. Oh, can are, we go back to the one? Pictures. There those we go. Those are the pictures that my dad posts every <laughs> single year. He posts these pictures every Bro, how year. old were you? That cut up, I, man. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. With, uh, the pack. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. That, that was, oh, man. That was uh, my birthday. That that was in uh that was in like the ninth grade, 10th grade. No, yep. That was my birthday. How man. Go, like I was for a dude who loves school, taking my, pictures? How come was, you look so creepy school. at the camera all no, the no. time? Because I don't. That, those pictures I didn't take. That that picture I took. I was about to say you no, took you took the picture with you me, holding the phone. That's when I started to get the game. You that's know right. that one. You know the, the when the abs came in. Better, you know, uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's coming but, uh, in now, dude. I got more fat. I got more fat in the back of my hand than you do on your stomach in that picture. I mean, good lord, man. Oh, and yeah. we're with the WWF. Oh, it's the WWE. sensey days, man. I was mm-hmm. I was four percent body fat in college at 4% one point. Body uh, fat. I was swole, straight muscle. I mean, you're still swole. Rockhead. Man. <laughs> I was about twenty four, I think. Jeez, thirty four yeah. in college. Yeah, uh, I was all muscle, rock solid. <laughs> that was it. You oh know, man, bodybuilding mm-hmm. and, and freaking spearing people. You know, See, they should have called like me Bobby Lashley. So that's what that's what we do with you. Post of that, man. It's just we do some highlights. We bring <laughs> you up. It. That's crazy. Yeah, man. We bring I you up, it. then you bring I knew back exactly down. Exactly what it was gonna be, man. My pops, man. He, you called it, man. You did he call wrong, it man. before the hey, show. Defoe's like, doing me I, dirty, dog. I got some stuff out there, and I'm I'm sure I'm pretty sure it's easy to find. Like pops has pops has got a hold on. We found it. Pops for sure, like. He'll recycle those pictures probably mm-hmm. until I'm 30. And I'll be like, man, it's time to delete those. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> before before we started up today, um, Cheese walks in talking with Defoe, and I was asking about the hometown. I was like, Defoe, remind me again where you're from. He's like, hey, Columbus, 614. Then they just start saying 614. And every time somebody says the area code, I'm always like, oh, here we go. But then I told you, boys, that you do I it. do the same thing. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> It's, the old, you know, old 614 918 and look here right. we all we're all here together man that's right, that's here right. in the represent, nation's capital got to represent beating the eagles on Monday night football you know doesn't get better than that doesn't, doesn't get better, huh? better than that well cheese thank you for joining us man appreciate yep. the delivery i could be here cheese a few more deliveries a few more deliveries <laughs> <laughs> keep delivering some sweet I'm snaps you, my man. dude cheese what was that don't dog? fall for it he does it every week look at him he's in your head Oh, he's got the shades. Cheese is out, me. man. Yeah. Yep. Got me. Cheese, good dude. He definitely got me. I'm like, cheese, what are you doing? I know, dude. He's <laughs> he's getting there, man. He he plays he plays some of the cheese games, dude. I you gotta watch him now. He knows he knows what's up. Sorry. Right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take like the chain off his bike or something. He wanna know. Yeah. All right. So we talked a little bit about you being super swole in college. Mm-hmm. I feel like you were a huge part of this major like coming out party of Cincinnati. Definitely. Tell um, me a little bit about your time with the Bearcats, dog. Man, my time with the Bearcats was, it went from like extremely like terrible to the best thing in the world. Like, so you come in, yep. things are not good. Things are not good, okay. man. Like we're just trying to get things right, you know. And it's crazy because um my, my first meeting with Luke Fickle, he told me I had blind fate. And I did not know what he was saying, but I was all in. You yes. Know? And then, you know, over the next couple of years, we transformed that program into Dude, top 10. For like, sure, literally. man. And uh, it was definitely something great to be a part of. I know, man. Last year, they had like nine guys drafted. Oh, that was, man, yeah. it's been awesome. But yeah. uh, it's definitely, it definitely was something that was challenging. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. We came in four and eight my first year. Four and eight. Four and eight. Yeah. And then second year, we won 11 games. When you guys going to the Big 12? Next year. Next year. And next I think year. we're dipping yeah, out, I man. need that. Yeah. I wish I wish we were around for a couple more years just so yeah, man. we could have that'd some be, friendly wagers. Man, that would be nice right there. That is, Dude, Oklahoma. that's a – now, I am man. sooner born, sooner bred. Mm-hmm. When I die, I'll be sooner dead. <laughs> 
but being the only Sooner in the locker room on mm -hmm. a tough year. Man. Oh, man. real tough year. Dog. I don't know what's worse. Like, the guys <laughs> just either trashing you after your mm -hmm. team loses or whenever they come up and they just put their hand on your shoulder mm -hmm. and they're like, man, mm. we, we know Did what you're going Did you expect that when you got to the league? Like, man. everybody reps the alma mater. Mm -hmm. But man, when your team loses, uh, you are just catching. Man, I'm heat. telling you, like these guys, these guys, we play Alabama last year, and these guys are they they giving it to the dog. <laughs> they like, hey, we, hey, I don't want to hear nothing else about UC Cincy. Yeah, yeah fluke this and this and that, dog. Come I know. on now, I know, Since man. You played y'all in a good game. I know, I know, dude. Playoffs. I'm telling you, man. There's just something about it. Y'all gotta give them the credit. Yeah. Come on now. Those what dogs, was what those, was that like, man? There, like what was that like outside of the quote unquote mm -hmm. the the power five yeah. and you guys making so much noise, making the run? Mm -hmm. Like how how did that feel in the locker room? How did that feel like? I don't know the program. I mean that the mm -hmm. whole place had to just be buzzing all the time, like Always. when y'all were running. Man, I just feel like it shows, like it shows, like what what we do around there. We work, you know. Yeah. It really is not not about if we're power five or not. Yeah. It's just about it working, winning you know? games, man. And you know, once you get to a certain level, you gonna compete with anybody. You yeah. know, once you get out there and you see a guy, you like, man, hey, you you might be, you know quote unquote better than me, but hey, you're gonna have to show me that. So yeah. that's the that's the mentality I know. that I like I like what coach to. I like what coach always says about you got all the betting spreads, mm -hmm. you got all the power rankings and dude at the end mm -hmm. of the day, Man. Sunday, Monday mm -hmm. night, Saturdays, team that plays the best gonna win the game. I, I, I mean I love football for that reason. Dude. Man, I'm just telling the emotion. You, the, you, know, you never know. Like you'll have man like like freaking um um Wichita State, you know, be in Michigan back in the day, you know. Appalachian dog, State. Dog, I, I, it was uh, it was App State. Oh yeah, it was we should have brought that up to Man. Cheese. Well, that was Cheese. I mean, Cheese Cheese might have been born at that point. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Who knows? But Man. Cheese always I always mess with Cheese about like when things took place mm -hmm. in my career, and yeah. Cheese would be like, Yeah, that Man, is I was wild, in seventh dog. grade. <laughs> like to think like like we're we're like I was born in '99. Where were you like? Where were you in '99? Like I was probably scoring eight touchdowns a game in see, youth football at that see, point. See, this is no. like this is that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't score no eight touchdowns. No, no, no. You definitely. Yeah, I was I was nine or ten years old. No, that's playing crazy. Playing ball up and rolling. Yeah. Man. How about this? 2014. Where were you in 2014? 2014 was like my. It was going into like my freshman year in high school. Like that was my that rookie was like, year in the league. That's wild. Think about that. That is wild. Yeah. Like I was I was still skinny. You know, I was taking like, belly. I was like five. Belly I was like five, five six back then. You were rocked up though, weren't you? No, nah, I had a six pack though. Six that was it. I, was, I wasn't rocked up, but I, I had. I got to get on your meal plan whenever I'm done playing. I Man, I'm telling you, I could do it now, but I just don't want to put that much effort into like. I mean, abs sound cool, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I want to work for them right now. I'd rather just try and pump the football good and be good I to go. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> it's all right, man. I want to turn the bodybuilders out here, dog. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah. All right. So year two, year two in the league. How much different is year two than your rookie year? Dog, I'm telling you, everything, it seems like everything's just going faster and faster. Yep. Like, they, they'll tell you, like, man, your rookie year will be the longest year of your life. And I'm like, the rookie year flew by, and now it seems like this second year is about to be done. And it's, it, crazy, it just man? feel like I'm going to look up and I'm going to be, like, in, in your in your shoes, dog, and yep. I'll be in year 15, yep. you know, year 14, <laughs> you know. And I'm going to be like, dog, I just remember Trash telling me, like, hey, ball out. Just one game at every, a time. Every, every time. Just play ball. Trace come up to me like, Defoe, my dog. That's all I'm going to be thinking about. That's right. I'm going to be messaging you like the, the little dap emoji like, Trace, my dog. That's it. Man. I know. It, I know. It, just, it just seems like it's going by so fast, I you know. I think, I every think time you, you look up, it's a new game. I think you said something earlier, too, that like really hits home that I have noticed. One, as the years go on, but particularly after that rookie year, then second, third, mm -hmm. like the game is fast. But like mentally, everything just slows down. You. Like you've just been in different situations. You know what's what. And like mm -hmm. I heard you, I heard you saying that, talking about some of the highlights. And I'm like, dude, that's a thing, man. Like it that is. is such a jump from like your first year, maybe year and a half, Definitely. and then once you start going, it because just... I, I still remember the first play. Um, um, what game was that? The Bengals preseason last year. I chased the toss for like, <laughs> yep. chased the toss for like four yards, dog. They get they gave me that. Like <laughs> I'm telling you, they gave me like they gave me for that for like. <laughs> I want to say a year. Like, yeah. They they probably didn't think I was gonna get out of that that tunnel right there. Like yeah. they thought I was gonna be chasing the football for forever. Just and dog wasn't chasing there. cars, like, just, man. Like yeah. just out there, just playing football. You yeah. Know? But I'm glad. I'm definitely glad I slowed I down. You know. I know. Plays man. In the post now. I think one of my favorite things too from last year, like with your rookie year, was 
like watching you evolve even like on the punt team mm -hmm. and then like becoming the pp and things like that the Definitely. personal protector that was tough if, uh, y'all remember that was tough man yeah, yeah i was back there so hey, my favorite thing i'm telling you personal personal protector is pp the guy that calls the calls the uh, protection calls the direction of the punts like everything, everything so reeves is our pp now but defoe in OTAs and in training camp, whenever he gets his reps, even still today. So Reeves is kind of chill. He's going to be like, all right, we're going to go base punt right, alert flip, and he'll make the call. All right, we got black, black, easy, easy. Defoe's like Batman. <laughs> like, base punt right, base punt right. <laughs> because I remember, like, the first time I got out there and I went out there with, like, a squeaky voice, and yep. they're like, Defoe, put some bass in your voice. I'm like, all right. Baseball, right? It is. It is Batman, dude. And it ever is. since then, yeah. I do it like that every single time. Oh, God, yeah. When they get in the huddle, I just stare at them. Dude, and I I'm won't not say gonna nothing. lie to you. I get a little look at them like when I hear you calling it, I'm like, yo, you don't know what's about to come on. I'm hey, about baseball, this right? One. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. dude. It is. That's it wild, is. dog. Know, I'm telling man. you. It's such a huge transformation from the first time out there to like when you, once you get some experience, it's like yes. everything confidence, everything yes. just goes up. So I think I think Cheese would tell you this story too. This is this is one of the all timers that I have of Cheese. Our first ever field goal period with the team mm -hmm. last OTAs. So Cheese is rookie year, you're rookie yep. year. Mm -hmm. Cheese goes to make the down call, and his voice cracks. The first ever down call. For Washington, cheese goes down. One of those, and I'll <laughs> never forget. Kendall Fuller just goes, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> and then I think it was John Allen. Someone was like, "Oh man, is this the Little Giants? What do we got going on over here?" And ever since uh, then, geez. not as much Batman, mm -hmm. but cheese is good now. Yeah, I mean, he's got a good dude. He's got the mustache. He's yeah, like sir. down. Oh like yeah, he, definitely the mustache. The mustache. Definitely the mustache. Yeah. The people in Philly, they were like, "Hey man, tell Jesus shave that mustache." No. No. No, absolutely not absolutely not it's a, it's it's a, a vibe of, you know dude. it's a part of his character now, absolutely man, man. it's a freaking vibe and it looks great in the in the helmet man mm -hmm. like it just bam it's there that's that great mustache, yeah i know man. okay so if he, one if he, thing he rushes it. i feel like i got to see it a bunch last year but even more so this mm -hmm. year the consistency of like your attitude your energy who you are like vocally like everything like that have you have you always been that way? Is that something you get from pops? Is it like like where where'd that kind of come from? Man? Um, it's I've always been that way, man. And it's so random because I'll literally be sitting there and then my body will just tell me like, let's go. And I'll start yelling. <laughs> and that's all I like before before we do like special teams, I'll be chill. And then I'll think like, we about to go do special teams, and my body literally just turns yeah. up like, let's go. <laughs> and I'll start yelling, like, oh no, it's something about yelling that literally okay. like it turns me up. Yeah. Like I'll just yell. And my body is just like, it is just going to go mode. Like, I am in killer mode. I just yell and turn into now, like, is it like a, a straight animal. Is it like a barbaric yell or is it like That's a, exactly what it is. Like, it's like it's like a war yell, like a, ah, and then I'm just like in go mode. Like, and that's it. And that's it. That's so crazy because like, I feel like you can also be so chill mm -hmm. and like, so go with the flow. Yeah. And then the, when the body. And that's what it is. Like, it's like my body will tell me. Your like, mind's telling you no, yeah. but your body's telling mm -hmm. you yes. Like, kick mm -hmm. in. Let's go. It's time to go. Yep. And my body will be like, let's go. Yeah. And I'll just turn it on. And Dude, then I'll get I to the sideline and I'll be so chill. Yeah. But then once we get back out there, I'm going to go again. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that that's something too, like playing in the NFL. I feel like that having that consistency of like, I don't know, it sounds cheesy, but like knowing knowing your identity, knowing your role, mm -hmm. like you, you got to stay in your lane while hopefully in a good way affecting other people's lane. Yeah. And dude, I get that vibe from you that's, for that's sure. What I like try to, just, that's what I try to give when I yell. Like yes. I try to give off the energy like yes. it's time to go. You know, people, you know, yes. they're probably like, what's up with this dude? Like, I know. What's like Kendall? Yelling? What's like Kendall? I feel like Kendall and Bobby are mm -hmm. like ultra chill. They're chill, probably like, chill, this dude's bro. crazy, And man. I'll come out there like, let's go. <laughs> no, and they'll be looking at me like, dude, all right, all right, all right, this, all right dude, um, this dude is crazy, man. You know, I'm yeah. trying to get the call. This dude is just yelling. Like, yeah. I don't understand what's going on. He's just oh, yelling. Man. I'm trying to get the call. Dude, whatever whatever you guys have been doing, man, it has been it has been special. It's been fun to watch. I mean, three of y'all in the top five. Like, man. what, like, I mean, what do you – I know this is a hard question, mm -hmm. but dude, what do you what do you credit that to? Like, what is what has been? Because I I I I feel was I talking? I was talking with Ben. I was mm -hmm. talking with Ben St. Juice, and he was saying how much you guys like as a group of DBs all feed off of each other. There's, yeah, that's and exactly I feel like that's clearly apparent. Like, but it's like a, it's a relationship thing. Like uh, since I got here, 
those guys have taken me right up under their wing, like that's cool, you know, man. making sure that I'm right. And you can see the transformation from the first year to the second year. Yeah. And I feel like it's our relationships, you know, yeah, man. from a, what our relationship is as a room, as a group with our coaches, everything. Like we just go out there and we're we're comrades, man. We out there playing ball. We just have they know fun you're gonna together. start screaming at mm -hmm. some point. Yeah, and, yeah. They, they just know like everybody everybody out there john see each other win you yeah. know and it, it helps and we feed off of that you know that is dude now that you say that that is so true like mm -hmm. the way you guys like wanting yeah. to see each other win That's exactly what like it is. your guys's ability to give each other the spotlight mm -hmm. like in that moment of That's like exactly what it is. the big play that's made and it looks like it looks like you guys just elevate that one guy mm -hmm. like whoever like you with the pick ben breaking up a pass mm -hmm. like that's a good point because in our room we, we say evident. Man. Hey, we're gonna celebrate each other. I like that. You know, and when we celebrate each other, it's fun for everybody. Yeah, because dude, football's a freaking dog fight, I'm man. There's you. good, there's bad. You, Every sometimes game. Sometimes you gotta just relax and just be like, hey. Till you, you know, start screaming. You feel me? Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Some stuff is gonna happen. Yeah, but we know we're gonna get through. That's it, cool, you know? dude. I I could confidently say I can I can see you talk about those dudes taking taking you under the wing when mm -hmm. you first got in. I I can picture that like as you like progressing your career and get older like you doing that for the next wave of dudes coming in like that is yeah, i'm telling you yeah so, some guys say that i'm gonna be the mean vet i'm not gonna be the mean vet you know? i don't know if i believe I'm that just like, i'm know. just like i'm just i'm some i'm awkward at times you know it's just it's just how it is you know i'll be chill like i am now and then Start i'll screaming. be hype yeah and then sometimes when i'm happy like after the, after the game yeah. i'm in there dancing like it's yeah. just it's just emotion i know man it's just I emotion know. i know i love that dude <laughs> all right a uh a couple of things off the field Mm -hmm. You shared a pretty cool story with me before we started talking yeah. um, here on Hang Time about I think it was like a Thanksgiving meal when you were playing at Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Give me that story again, real uh, quick. So uh, when I was at Cincy, man, uh, they gave us Thanksgiving dinner. Yep. You know, I had art, but I had uh, massive my roommate, feast. Yeah, but my my roommate his his parents had cooked, so we had went over to their house. Okay. So when I had got from the dinner with the team. Um, I seen a guy like at the bus stop, you know, he was sleeping. I'm like, I'm not going to eat this dinner. You know, I might as well just, uh, give it to somebody who's going to need it, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I had gave it to him and, you know, I never record anything like this. Cause yeah. it's just like how I am. So I know. Yeah. It's just like how I was brought up. Like my father always told me like, give, give everything away that you're yeah. not going to use because you know, there's no reason to have surplus. So I don't Is know. that, was that, was that like one of the first, like real, I don't know, maybe like mm -hmm. one of the real powerful moments you saw of like, man, like. I'm so blessed and being hooked up by all this grub and this dude's sleeping, like making it by with whatever is, mm -hmm. whatever's going on in his life. Is there just like that moment where you gave the food out that something stuck that you continue to try and do like uh, in the holidays? Definitely. It and, was, uh, it wasn't even, it wasn't even what, what I got from him, like his emotional experience. It was the guys around him. Like it, he wasn't the only one there, but I know that he needed it. Like yeah. just from, from the look and everyone around, they they just they they gave me that look like, hey man, hey thank you, like we're proud that's, of you. That's like, really cool, and, man. and that's what it is. Is like, I know that I have a lot of people backing me, and uh, yeah. you know, it's always about me just doing what comes from the heart. Yeah, and I, I really don't think too much about a lot of things, but. I like to do things that are genuine. I yeah. like to think, think, do things that come from deep. Yeah, and do we we obviously have so much to be thankful for. And like the, the reason I I loved that story so much, like with you sharing, is it's food. You know, it's mm -hmm. just like it's just eating. Yeah. You know, and like we, I mean, we get so hooked up. And I remember the college days, the big mm -hmm. Thanksgiving feast and things yeah. like that. And I thought I'm not surprised that you went and did something like that. But I thought that was a, a really cool story. Is that something Thank that you're kind of like either food based or whatever that you try and keep around. You Definitely. do it at your hometown. You yeah. do it around I, here. I do, like, it, I do it everywhere, man. So uh, that's for, cool. for this year, hopefully around we can get around here, man, and get yeah. some dinners out to families. Yeah. Uh, that'd be great, man. And then I think for Christmas, I'm going to go back home. You know, try to do some some great things back home. Uh, last cool. year for uh, Thanksgiving, I actually we put together me and my team. We have put together uh, dinners and we passed them out to the uh, Huckleberry House. And there's a, those are like um, those are like. Pauvern, um teens, you know, okay. like like young adults, and yeah. they're in there to they get their lives together. Yeah, so, you yeah. Know, I always try to give back whenever I can. Dude, that is super cool, man. If 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 you're doing something around here, keep me posted. I'd love I'd love to be a part of that, For man. Sure. That, that's special. Man, yeah, I'm telling you, it's it's just something. It's something about seeing the joy on other people's faces. Yeah. You know, it's just like it's surreal for them. They don't they don't really get to see yeah. athletes and especially giving back to them and coming to actually interact with them and not yeah. just like being like, Oh, we're gonna do this. No, we're gonna come and interact with you guys. I yeah. wanna learn from you. Yeah. That's really cool, dude. 
So another off the field thing that I I heard a little tidbit that you might be a little interested in is uh, a little bit of camera work, a little bit of media stuff. Right, what are we right. talking about, Defo? I've seen um, your selfie game, but what are we really talking about I here? I don't know, man. It's just like a hobby of mine. Like I like doing like like everything. I'll be drawing, you know. That's taking cool, pictures. man. Um, you know, so I have actually got the camera for my media. But I never really use it on myself. Like I, I'll take pictures of my cars. I'll take pictures of everybody else. Yeah. But uh, it's definitely just a hobby. Um, I got a, a Canon camera. You know, I need to get a new lens for it. But uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a nice camera. That's you know, super I do cool, little, man. Little things with it. But I you do anything like in the off season with it or it. anything like that? Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. in off season, I went to go work out and I um I took a bunch of videos on there and I never used them yet. So like they're just <laughs> sitting on my memory card. I gotta get them off. But uh, I definitely use a camera and like like for personal things. Like, yeah. If I if I'm around my family, I'll I'll take the camera. Yeah. You know, probably take a take a couple flicks. You know, just yeah. of us happy. But uh, now we could, if you want it. I mean, we could get a get a little funky with it. We could do a before and after shot and have like Jake or you could even draw up a meal plan, yeah. and you could take a picture of me with my shirt. Off. Off, mm -hmm. And then take a picture of you with your shirt off, and it'll be like before and after. Before and after. And you just hope nobody catches on it. Like that's not we, the same dude. We, no, no, they, like, they won't know. Yeah. They won't know. See, you no, know. we can. I mean, we can tell. Just let me know. Off season, I'll be around. We can work. All right, man. We, we can definitely get that going. You know, <laughs> uh, hey, I'm gonna make sure I get a new lens, so we make sure that you know you looking crisp and right. You know, my lens kind of. No, I, dog, I would so, dig that. You know, I, I, don't, I don't need you blurry, man. They be like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, the blurry might way. help me though, man. It might make me look super cut up. No, man. It's, it's something about a clean flick. Everything, everything looked better when 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 the picture is crisp and clean. Man, I trust you. I, got I you. trust you. That's your you, hobby, man. man. Not mine. Hey, what they say? They say trust the photographer. <laughs> I got you, man. I won't. I won't have you. I won't trust have the photographer. You. Hey, trust the photographer. I like that, man. I got you, man. I, like I won't that. do you wrong. All right, dude. Here on three and out, you'll be a big fan of the name of the segment. Three and out. Yep. Defo, how this works is I'm going to give you a trivia question. Right. Now, I know you're in year two, but dude, this was like, I mean, 2017 or so, maybe mm -hmm. 2016. You're probably rocking and rolling with the Bearcats at that point. No, I was just, that was when I was graduating high school. Yes, you were in high school. So uh, I was see. graduating. In my graduating career at some point here, uh -huh. I was doing some trivia, like came out with a trivia game, things like that, but it's multiple answer. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys typically like it. We still play it every once in a while. But how mm -hmm. this is going to work is I'm going to give you a trivia question that mm -hmm. has multiple answers. All right. Now, the game is called Three and Out. So if you can name three of them, you're out. But out. Yeah is good like you Bet. want you want out Bet. you want to get out, out. does Bet. that make sense yep so i'm gonna read you the question all right and you'll have one minute one minute one minute all one right, minute to try and give three answers all right cool how's your knowledge of cars i know you take pictures of them i'm all right i'm all right oh. could you name sign, me sign. the three sections of a carburetor found in the engine known for the indy 5 i'm just kidding bro I was about to say, dog. All right. Um, I didn't hey, even know what I was, I was to, saying. Hey, I was about to start naming anything. We got gas. Flux we got capacitor. gaskets. We got. We, we got. got hey. All right. All right, baby. Yeah, sorry, I all couldn't right. help it, man. You were locked I in. Lie. I was like, oh, I've got them. Just all right. I definitely was gonna make up three things. I, I didn't know. I ain't gonna lie. That would have been a hard one. Of the tough. top selling car brands in the U.S. Can you name three that end in the letter A? Top selling car brands. In the US? Yep. Dang, that's tough. Yep. Think about Let's it. See. Walk through our, maybe walk through our parking lot. Oh, no, T Wade drives a Nissan. That's yeah. out. I was going to say Mazda, but I don't think that's the Mazda's is that, in. Is that, yep. yep. Mazda's, Mazda's in. Mazda's in. All right, cool. Mazda. Mazda. Um, Plenty of time. Keep working through. Mazda. See, tough part is, but go for it. Ends with a V. Um, ends with a A. Mazda's a good pull. Yeah, Mazda was Mazda was the only thing I could think of. Because we're going... go through maybe go through the dealer dealership row. See a bunch of dealerships, big Bet. signs. Oh, Defo, you're going to be kicking yourself, oh. dog. Don't look at, the, never look at the clock. That's the cardinal rule. It's oh, over. Defo. It's over. I didn't think, it's I over. only could think of Mazda because that was like, that was easy. Dude, like, Mazda's a good Mazda's pull. Mazda's like A, like, yeah, at the end. All right, what if I, what if I told you maybe one of the ones that you have to plug in to charge up? Oh, Tesla. 
Tesla. Oh, you ready for Tesla. this, man? Bet. The number one and number two car selling brands, like what the top it? two, both end in an A. Okay, so Tesla, uh, Honda, and Toyota. Honda. I didn't think about the. I didn't think about Honda or Toyota. I know. I'm man. going through everything in my head. I'm like, all right. Kia. Uh, yeah. I'm like everything. Acura. I was thinking. See, that was an easy question. I, I made it harder on myself. No, dude. Than it was. That's called the hot seat. That's, that's a real exactly thing, what man. It is, if dog. I ask you, dude, that's if exactly I ask you, if I ask you down in the locker room, you'd be like, Mazda, Tesla, Kia. Tesla. Tell you what, man. You got the clock on. We got the cameras on. And that's what it is. It's dog. real, dude. I looked at. I looked at the clock too many times. That's what I, I saw a clip one time on Family Feud that mm -hmm. they asked for the most common male names that start with H. Yeah. And this one dude got excited and he said Jose. But just in the moment, man, you never know. And you like, <laughs> hold up. See, but you'll never start. see now that you've been on the hot seat, you'll be like, that's exactly what it is. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna lie, my palms kind of hot now. Oh, man. and then I got, got you all me. messed up with the carburetors and like the Indy 500. See, like, yeah, thinking already. I know. No, see, that was right, messed up. Right, that was psychological got... warfare. No, 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 yeah. Definitely, my brain wasn't right there. Dude, look. Love being your teammate. Love chatting with you off of hang time. It was just as fun chatting on hang time, man. Thank forever, you for coming man. on. That's, and, uh, dude, that was, that was a heck of a game watching you man, play you. Monday thank night. You. Let's go take care of the Texans, man. Hey, we're going to get it done. Yeah.